Hello there, my friends! Welcome to the fire! Ooh, got one of those doozies of a story here for y'all. Christian Extremist doesn't get game, and explains his version of D&D. r slash RPG Horror Stories, posted by Joker19. So, this is a strange horror story even by my standards. Long ago, I was on a Discord during the pandemic, and I was discussing certain games with the people in chat, to which one particular individual, whom we will call Kenneth for obvious reasons, is in the conversation listening carefully. This server was focused on TTRPGs, but most people only did D&D because that was the only thing they knew. And I have a reputation for being the drug dealer of games. I'm the shady guy who goes, Psst, hey, wanna play some Vampire the Masquerade? The cool kids play Vampire the Masquerade type of guy. Thing is, I am describing Exalted. Now, some of you may go, oh boy, the moment I said that name. For those who don't know what Exalted is, I'll try to summarize it as this. Think Avatar The Last Airbender slash Korra plus Final Fantasy 3-4 and a bit of 7. At Ghibli's Mononoke, Nausicaa, Lapida, a bit of Macross Plus, a bit of Evangelion, a lot of 90s martial arts anime, and you are halfway there. It's a high fantasy TTRPG that tries to emulate the drama and combat of anime, with all the style and rule of cool that you can squeeze into a book. Now, with that being said, the book has its flaws, but that's not why we are here. So, I had a few people interested, and among them, we had Kenneth. As I was explaining the backstory of the game, I went into the myth of creation when Sol Evictus gave his powers to exalted individuals to bear his power, and how the Solar Exalted were gods among gods. To which Kenneth goes, Excuse me? What? Oh yeah, I said, Exalted has a rich mythology where there's a god for everything. It's, uh, very close to animism, in theory. And a what? Said Kenneth. Animism, you know, a religious belief in which everything, every object and everything in nature, has a corresponding god. The god of rivers, the god of winds, the god of harvest, the god of the blade, the god of hammers, and etc. I don't get it, said Kenneth to which everyone was silent and I said, It's kinda common in anime. Yeah, but I still don't get it. I mean, it can be possible in Japan, but in Christianity, there's only one god, and believing there's more than one is heresy. I couldn't believe it. This guy couldn't separate his personal perceptions from a game or even expand his personal horizons to consider that possibility. I don't like it, it sounds satanic. He said to which one of the other players said, How can that be satanic? Well, again, the belief of other gods beyond God and Jesus, it's kinda disrespectful. Another player in chat interjected with, but don't you run D&D? Isn't there like huge pantheons of gods? Kenneth said, What's a pantheon? I explained, You know, uh, different gods with their own systems of belief. To which Kenneth replied, One of the things to this day made me speechless. Yeah, but in my D&D games, I don't use other gods. I made Jesus in D&D and God, and then there's Satan. It's very easy to understand, and it follows the Christian values. 
one of the players said, but what if I'm Jewish and I don't believe in Christ? To which Kenneth just nonchalantly said, I won't let you join my games. As simple as that. Hoo, ho. After that, I had to take five. Some time passed, and I ended up running exalted for a bit for a few of the players. We had fun, and I'm glad Kenneth didn't join the game. But I'm still baffled that he was such a zealot. First off, I wouldn't really go as far as calling Kenneth here an extremist. Uninformed? Probably. Stuck in an inflexible mindset where he can't seem to separate his own views of God from a fictional game? Oh, most definitely. Uh, it is, after all, just a game. And the fact that there's a, what, an estimated 10,000 distinct religions worldwide and then refusing to understand or at least give consideration to any of them other than your own? Well, that's not very love thy neighbor of you, now is it? Hmm. Also, if you really think about it, wouldn't it be kind of, well, blasphemous as a Christian to put God and Jesus in a fantasy game like D&D where you assign numerical value to their abilities and stuff? Hmm? Much like how this person responded in the story comments. Hmm. Yeah, just a little food for thought. Oh, and wasn't Jesus, well, Jewish? I mean, once again, just saying. But anyway, at the end of the day, how Kenneth plays D&D is up to him, and I will say that at least he was upfront about his religious views. And this is just the sort of stuff that Session Zeros are for. So, at least both OP and Kenneth here didn't waste their time playing in a game that both of them would be miserable in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And would you kindly follow the socials posted in the description below. As always, be good, be great, be awesome.